today. It was much too noisy in the studio to explain much, so we just did a little bit of demonstration with the body. But here where it's quiet, I can talk a little bit about swing. There's a lot of discussion online about swing dancing has to be swing dancing like lindy hop, West Coast swing, East Coast swing. And in the ballroom world, when we talk about a swing dance, we mean like a waltz, foxtrot, quick step, a dance where we have rise and fall and swing. So we're talking about an element of swinging the body or swinging the legs as opposed to the dance, swing dance. So we don't want to get into all that. So we'll talk just briefly about the two types of swing, the pendulum swing and the metronomic swing. We also have rotary swing, it can be called an oscillation as we move from point to point. But we're going to try to keep this basically simple. You could say that this is a, a weight the bottom of the fixed point, so that's a pendulum swing. And I'm scaring the birds. And if I flip that over, then I would have a, a metronomic swing. So the fixed point now would be here, and this is the phase over the top. Yeah, they're really upset about that. You can also take anything that, that hangs, that's got a stiffness to it, but this is loose. There would also be a pendulum swing. So the exercise we'll do is just very simply rocking the weight back and forth in the feet. Of course you can go further forward obviously because you have more foot in the front. You have your little skis there so you can rock the weight all the way forward but you're minimally able to rock the weight backwards. But we want to make use of that just so you can sense moving the weight. Now we're not going to bend over at the waist. We're moving forward or backward from the ankle. I do need to keep my line upward so I don't want to fall forward with the head like this. So as we fall forward from the ankle, we're keeping the line of the head and the body up. But it's actually this metronomic swing where the release of body weight from the ankle, from the floor, that gets us moving in a walk action. Walking has been described as falling from the center of gravity, weight moving forward, and then the swing of the leg. Now we also have leg swing, we also have arm swing, we have rotary swing. But we should be aware that we have a leg swing if we're walking in any fashion at all. But when we're referring to swing and the swing dances here, we're talking about whether we're going to use the metronomic swing or the pendulum swing or a combination of the two of them. So just practicing on the, the prep step to do what we call releasing the weight or releasing the swing, if we very slightly take our weight back, release the swing of the leg, and then we release our body into a metronomic swing, let's say on the man. This will put a sensation in the lady's body that she wants to dance off of my body. So I'm inspiring her to open up the top by the way that I'm using my body in that swing. If we're looking at the waltz, we can put a little bit of metronomic swing because we have that in the walking action. We do not have it in tango. We don't want to introduce that. We're walking much more from the leg. But in the swing dances, we release that, and then we introduce the pendulum swing. So the pendulum then would be the weight center, swinging this way. Now some people say scientifically we're not using those terms properly, but we're not so concerned about that. It works in our discussion of ballroom dancing, of thinking of how we're moving, let's say, more from the top, more from the ankle this way, and then more underneath the base, let's say in a waltz, to help us to control the closing action there. And of course now sway enters into the question as well. So the swing and the sway are related, they go together, they help each other. If we don't swing, we don't have any use for doing sway, it would be purely decorative. And if we're trying to only do it decorative while we move, then we have a, a problem. So just for a moment, we could look at, say, a right lunge. 
that would be a top sway, sometimes called a broken sway, or a cosmetic sway, or sway for beauty. I'm not using this to manage my swing. If I'm dancing the natural turn and waltz, then I'm using the sway to manage the swing. If I don't swing, then I should not be doing much sway. I don't have a reason for it. But when we see sometimes beginners dancing and putting in something that they think they see, then you have a problem. You have no movement, you have small steps, no swing, there should not be sway. So they're very much tied together, but not exactly the same thing.